In this video, we will be looking at drawing some different shapes onto our screen. And by the end of the video, we should have a variety of different shapes, including rectangles, ellipses, polygons, and lines displayed on the screen. So now we've created a new project and a new main class, but we have copied the code directly from our red window class that we created before. And so the only thing that we've changed is the name of the class we changed it to drawing shapes and the name of our object of our class we changed that to canvas so just any place that you see red window replace it with drawing shapes and make sure that your object name is canvas so now we want to look at our paint method and we want to change our color so that we have a color dot white for our background and we're going to set um, the color to a new color after that for drawing our shapes uh, color dot blue and so let's draw a rectangle uh, and let's draw a location at uh, 10 for X and 10 for Y and with a width of 50 and 50. And so let's take a look and see what we have. We should have a white background with a blue rectangle. And here we have our white background with our blue rectangle. Notice it is 10 pixels down from the top and 10 pixels over to the right of the screen. And we've got a uh, width of 50 and a height of 50, which means it's going to be a square. And so it's exactly what we wanted. Um, and notice that we didn't fill in the rectangle. It is just an outline. And because we did not say fill rectangle, we said draw rectangle. So we can change that to a fill rectangle if we want to. Um, so let's draw another rectangle. Uh, let's put it at 70, 10 for Y, and for a width, let's say 75, and a height of 50. And let's change this one so that it isn't draw rect, but it's instead fill rect. So we're going to use g.fill rect to fill it in. Let's run it. And here we go. Notice we have our rectangle and our new rectangle we painted. It's all filled in blue, a little bit wider than it is tall. So let's go back. And now we're going to set a color. Let's say color.purple. Uh, purple is not a color. Okay. Let's set it to color.orange then. So now let's use uh, g.fill oval. Whoops, g.fill oval to fill in our oval on the screen. And so that again asks for an x, a y, a width, and a height. And so for my x, I'm going to put it at 10. And for my y, let's put it at 70. And the width and the height is going to be 50 and 50 and that's going to be the diameter across horizontally and the diameter up and down vertically and so we should have uh, an orange circle that's completely filled in let's run it and there we have our orange circle right where we put it 70 down from the top 10 over from the side and it's all filled in orange exactly like we said um, and so our oval was filled in, but we could have said g dot draw oval and said just draw the outline like we did with our rectangle. But let's move on. So I am just so surprised that there isn't actually a purple color. Let's create our own. So let's do uh, g dot set color, uh, but this time let's create our own color. So uh, instead of doing color dot purple, let's do new color. And this will create a new instance of color for us, and we can tell it what we want it to be. And so that's going to take three values, uh, R, a G, and a B for red, green, and blue. And that's the different amounts of those particular colors. So if we have uh, a very high, say, red value, for example, all the way up to 250, that's the highest. And then uh, no green and blue, that's going to be a very bright red. And so we can tell it what uh, amounts of colors we want. So let's give it uh, 120, uh, 120 for the blue and 20 for the green. That should be a good purple. And so now let's call uh, g dot draw line to draw a line, and it takes uh, a pair of x and y values, the x and y for the starting point, and that's going to be 70 and 70, and for the end point, the x and y, it'll end. Um, let's have it end at 145 and. Uh, 70 for the Y. So let's actually draw a bunch of these. Uh, let's say five of them. And let's change the Y value for the starting point of each of them. Um, so let's increase it by 10 each time. So we'll start 70, 80, uh, 90, 
100 and 110 and that will make the lines appear to go farther down on the screen as we increase the Y value. Um, and so we've got our five lines in our color. Let's run that and see what we get. And so notice here we have our five lines and the starting point all goes down by 10 each time and it all meets the similar common endpoint. Um, and so that's exactly like we, we want it to. We got our nice purple color. So um, let's finish off here and let's create a polygon to end. So the first thing um, we want to do is we want to decide what shape. Let's do a triangle. And so the first thing we need is the three points. So we need an array of integers to represent the x values for our points. And so I'm going to have mine... Um, I'm going to have my starting points be, let's see, 70, um, 60, no, not 70, uh, let's start at 10. So we've got 10, 60, and um, 35. So that should do it for our x values. Now let's get the y values. Um, so we should have three of those two. Um, and let's create that at 130, 130, and 180. Um, so now we've got our x and y value pairs. We've got our, our x and y1, x and y2, x and y3. And let's set our color to color dot, oh, what's a good color? Cyan. Uh, color dot cyan. And we will call g dot draw polygon and pass it um, those arrays we just created. So we'll pass it our x array and our y array, and we will also pass it the number three since we've got three points. That's the number of of ints in our array. Let's run that, and we should see our triangle in the blue. Yes, there is our triangle. It's a little hard to see actually. Um, Let's change that to something else. Let's change that to color dot red instead. That should be easier to see. And so we should be able to see the outline of our triangle now. It should be red now. And you could also call the fill polygon to fill that completely in. Uh, but hopefully now you know how to draw some of the basic shapes up onto a window.